Okay, welcome to my video. I'm doing a uh, Mile High Comics 5 pound mystery box unboxing. Uh, you can go to their website and you can order, a, you can choose a random box or you can be specific if you want to do all Marvel, uh, all DC. Um, you can do all number ones you can choose. You can choose a kid's, uh, a kid's box. Um, I chose three of them on there. They're like thirty nine ninety five. They're like forty bucks for one five pounds of comics. I chose three of them, but today we only have time to do one of them. So uh, I'm gonna do the Dark Horse five pound mystery box sent from Mile High Comics. Uh, this is a ad for parents that it's. Uh, not see for children or whatever, or if you want to order or see for one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, right out, of the, right out of the gate, we have the variant, the Mile High Comics variant uh, for Kara's Magic. This is uh, number one, and it's edition of seven fifty. So it says a thirty dollar price tag on the eBay, showing it's worth about uh, going for about five bucks. And we have a Terminal Point number two, a two of three, part of a mini series. Then we have another terminal point, number three, also part of that miniseries. And we have Bob Wire. All right. Comics Greatest World. Remember this Pamela Anderson movie? It was up for a Razzie Award, and it lost to Striptease, if you remember that battle. So who was going to win that one? That was like 1998, I think. All right. And then we have another World's Gre uh, Comics Greatest World Ghost. That's kind of an iconic cover. Uh, and we have RoboCop. I was expecting number one, Prime Suspect. And this, I was expecting a lot of RoboCops and Predators and Alien and Star Wars. Is what I was expecting from this box. And which is what we're getting right away here. With this RoboCop. And let's see what we got next. We have a Terminator number one Endgame. And also a Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter, number one. One of two of a miniseries of two. This is a uh, combination of Dark Horse Comics and Valiant. They teamed up to put that book out. And that Terminator Endgame is also number one. These are in mint. Mile High Comic books are in very good shape. These are in, you know, near mint or better. Uh... Lots of them are in the raw. Okay, Buffy the Vampire. Here we go. Josh Whedon. A number one, season eight. So this is another great book here. I think it's from 2008. And we have another RoboCop, Prime Suspect, number two of four of the miniseries. Uh, these are in great shape, like I said. And that Buffy the Vampire, I think, is a third print. So uh, I'm excited to get into these and read them, run through them. And then we have, uh, okay, Star Wars Episode One, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was expecting a lot of these, and this is what I wanted to say. The cover is a, just a great cover. And then we have The Terminator, number two of a miniseries of three, Hunters and Killers. All right, another two interesting books. This seems like a good lot of books in the mystery box. All right, for next one we have, all right, Boris the Bear. This is Dark Horse's... Second title run, uh, Boris the Bear. But this is a side lot of instant color classics. So this is a side lot of the of the main title run, Boris the Bear. This is like an interesting, fun book. And then we have Star Wars: River of Chaos and Nexus Deliberator Number One of a four part miniseries. The Star Wars: River of Chaos. I looked it up pretty quick, and uh, it sold for two hundred bucks. On my Go Collect, but it was a signature series, so it was signed by the creators. I'm assuming that's like a twenty or thirty dollar book. So that was another good book I got in this lot. And then we have a Next Men. All right, number three, and we have Aliens versus Predator. It's a great cover. We got an alien down, and one in mid-flight. So that's a number three. And uh, I was expecting a lot of these Aliens vs. Predators. Marvel just purchased, I think, Dark Horse. So they own Aliens and the Predator title. So there's a lot of rumors going on now with uh, we might have an Avengers vs. Aliens. Or an Iron Man vs. Predator. You never know what's going to happen. Alright, this is a uh, Terminator. The first Dark Horse issue. 
It's a great cover there, right? And then we have the actual title, Boris the Bear, main title run, number six. And this looks like a parody of Batman on that one. And then we have a Next Men. And we have Comics Greatest World, Arcadia. And this is the appearance of Monster. And it looks like he just beat the hell out of a superhero named X. This is week four. Two good books. Interesting. Interesting lot of books so far. And then we have Nexus Alien Justice, number one of a three part miniseries. And we have X, Comics Greatest World, week one, X. And this is by Frank Miller. So this is a really good book. This is like another 20 or 30 dollar book. Frank Miller, early 90s, like 1993. Uh, just coming out of the, at the peak of his powers here. Might be right off of that Daredevil run, right? Nice Frank Miller book. And then we have Alien vs. Predator, number one. And that's in great shape. That's a beautiful cover. And we have The American. This is a parody of the American Gothic painting. What was that from 1930? Grant Wood. And it looks like it might be a, a number eight. Might be a superhero parody book, right? I gotta look into that one. Then we have Race of Scorpions, number one of four of the miniseries. And we have Star Wars, Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, I was hoping for a lot of these uh, Star Wars uh, Dark Horse comics from the 90s, is what I really want to dig into. This one has a bag, no board. And some of them are raw. So, uh,. This is another good book. I'm really looking forward to reading a lot of these Star Wars books. Uh, this was what I was hoping to get in this uh, five-pound uh, mystery box. All right, and we have Aliens Rogue miniseries number one of four. I see these around a lot of dollar bin uh, boxes and the comic book stores. And then we have Aliens Earth War number one of, of four a miniseries. And that's a terrific cover. Look at that guy girl looking cover there. Great uh, work there. Then we have a Dark Horse Presents, number 71. Fantastic. This is a, a Jodorowsky book, a script, and Mobius artwork. This is a great book. Uh, if you guys don't know Jodorowsky, he's uh, The Holy Mountain. If you haven't seen that movie, a famous midnight movie, which has influenced many, many music videos. Total influence on, you know, Pink Floyd uh, movie. And a lot, oh, all the all the music videos from the eighties come from uh, the a lot of Jodorowsky imagery. Here we have a Dark Horse presents Predator on the cover number sixty nine, and a Dead Face number one of four, part of a mini series. And the final is a looks like a trade paperback Star Wars Episode one. Looks like from the era of the Phantom, Phantom Menace. Anakin looks uh, young there. And in this box, I thought I would get fifty comics. It would be fifty pounds. But it was 34 comics and this one trade paperback. Is this a trade paperback? Would you guys call this a trade paperback? Or a uh, maybe a graphic novel? All right, so that was the uh, book. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. Uh, give me a heads up if I got anything wrong, which I might have. And thank you for watching my videos. I'll have some videos in the future. Please like and subscribe. And I'll give you some clouds for the Mile High Comics unboxing that we just did. Thanks for watching.